Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at crude oil, alkanes and fractional distillation. So, alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. This means that their carbon atoms are joined to each other by single bonds. This makes them relatively unreactive, apart from if they are combusting in air. So we can see from these diagrams, they form a homologous series where they go and form similar molecules. So to start off with, we have methane, which is one carbon atom, then ethane, which is two, propane, which is three, and butane, which is four. And we can see from this table that as the chain length increases, their relative boiling point also increases. So methane has a very low boiling point, which is why it's a gas, whereas octane has a, a much higher boiling point, which is why it would form a liquid. So as the length of the carbon chains gets longer, its boiling point increases. Right, it also makes it more viscous. So simple distillation is a procedure in which two liquids with different boiling points can be separated. Simple distillation can be used effectively to separate the liquids if they have at least 50 degrees worth of difference in their boiling points. So steam distillation is used to separate oils from plants. So the diagram shows some apparatus that could be used to go and separate oil from lavender plants. So we're explaining the purpose of the condenser. The condenser is there to go and cool the vapor down so it turns back into a liquid. If we're looking at what allows the mixtures to be separated, it's because the two different parts have different boiling points. And what needs to happen to the particles in the liquid for it to turn back into a gas? The particles need to heat up to turn into a gas because then they gain kinetic energy. So when the particles have enough kinetic energy, they will turn into a gas so it can be separated. Fractional distillation differs from distillation in that it separates the mixture into a number of different parts called fractions. A tall column is fitted above the mixture with several condensers coming off it at different heights. The column is hot at the bottom and cool at the top. Substances with higher boiling points condense at the bottom and substances with low boiling points condense at the top. So there are many different hydrocarbons in crude oil that may be separated into different fractions each of which contain molecules with a similar number of carbon atoms. The fractions can be processed to produce fuels and feedstock for the petrochemical industry. Many of the fuels on which we depend on for our model lifestyles such as petrol, diesel, oil, kerosene, fuel oil and such forth are produced using fractional distillation of crude oil. Many useful materials on which we depend on are also produced, such as solvents, lubricants, polymers and detergents. And a vast array of natural and synthetic carbon compounds occur due to the ability of carbon atoms to form families with similar compounds. So if we go and look at the actual process, so we start off with crude oil being heated to around 350 degrees. At that temperature, most of the crude oil is vaporized. The vaporized crude oil enters the fractional distillation column. So it started to cool, so the fraction with the longest molecules condenses and falls to the bottom of the column. The remaining crude oil vapor rises up through bubble caps. The higher up the column, the cooler it gets. The remaining longest chain molecules condense and remove uh, the new fraction or the next level. So this process continues until all of the vapor reaches the top of the column where it's cooled down to around 30 degrees. So if we were looking at describing and explaining how crude oil is separated into fractions, key things to talk about is that most of the crude oil would vaporate, va vaporize so it would evaporate. Um, it cools as it rises up the column, so the fractions have different boiling points or condense at different points. The larger molecules, the higher the boiling point, so they will condense at different levels 
in the tower. Thanks for watching.